This video shows an IETF auditor undertaking a part of an IETF 16949 remote audit at a certified client. Watch this video and see if this aspect of the remote audit is undertaken effectively. So good afternoon. Uh, my name is Paul, the ITF auditor. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Andy Norman. I'm the production manager at Advanced Plastics. Pleased to meet you, uh, Andy. So I've been auditing the new product introduction process, and I've seen that you've recently introduced the product 2742. Is that correct? Yeah, it was within the last two months. Right. What I'd like to do then is to better go down onto the shop floor with you and actually have a look at that product being manufactured. Is that running today? It is currently in production, yes. Yeah. Great. So I would like you to take me down and show me uh, the, the operation of that process, and then I will look at some of the relevant process documentation. So if you could take me down there, that would be great. No problem. Okay. So Andy then, can you show me the machine and can you show me this part number 2742 being manufactured? Sure, if you can see that. So the robot's just waiting to go into the mold. Right, so take me through. Out of the Say again, sorry. I know that it froze slightly, but I can see now. I can see the robot moving. Yeah, place the part onto the conveyor. Part comes down the conveyor and then the operator then places the barcode onto the product. And the product is then packed into the customer packaging. Right, thank you. And while you're there then, are you able to show me the work instruction for what the operator checks at this machine? So due to the fact that this process is uh, only just in development, um, the work instruction hasn't been issued yet, it's still been developed. Right, but I thought you told me earlier it has now been in production for nearly two months. Yeah, but the work instruction due to the backlog of COVID is still being developed. Right, thank you for showing me that, Andy. The auditor started the audit with introductions and then followed the audit trails from the information collected in the new product introduction process and then followed the audit trails to production, focusing on a recently introduced new part. Trails were then followed to the specific machine on the shop floor observing the part being manufactured. It became evident that despite the part being in production for over two months, no work instruction for the task was in place. This raised many questions, including audit trails to, how was the part approval process completed if there was information missing? How were operators trained if there was no work instruction? Depending on the information found in following these audit trails, this has the potential to become a major nonconformity around the lack of effectiveness of the new product introduction process. To undertake an effective remote audit, it is essential the auditor does good preparation including review of customer and internal performance data. In this case, it was good that the auditor was using information that they had collected in the audit preparation and using the data that had been collected in the audit of the new product introduction process and the interaction with the production process. Although for uh, many organizations, COVID-19 has caused very many significant issues and disruption. This cannot be used as a valid excuse for not having work instructions available on the shop floor. Mm -hmm.